What is wrong, Samuel? Good evening, Ma. Ma, I'm really scared about my forthcoming anatomy examinations. I don't feel ready for it and I don't want to fail, Ma. I don't want to get a carryover. I haven't been able to cover my class module. Oh, but why? But you had the whole three months to do so. There is no excuse for failure, but I know you can do something. Find a way around and cover up. There should be no repeat for you. Hope you are with me? Yes, Ma. While I wait for today's shift to begin, I will take these few minutes to share some tips to you on how not to fail an anatomy exam. Tips to revise for your anatomy exams. Are you with me? This is the first tip. The first secret we must first talk about is that of early preparation. It can't be overlooked. Even if you are planning to revise, you must ensure to have started your exam preparations early enough at the beginning of the semester. This gives you more chances of passing your anatomy exams. The second is repetition, repetition, repetition. The more you go over something, the more likely you will remember it. The only way to memorize all the anatomical structures and their functions is to repeat, repeat and repeat. Third is to get creative. In understanding the human anatomy, drawing plays a huge role. Use your artistic skills to help you study. Draw, read raw and annotate them with facts and features. Make use of different colors to ease visualization. Next is understanding your learning style. Find out what works best for you and stick to it. Stick to what works the most for you. If flashcards works for you, use it. If drawing does, then go for it. If rewriting notes works best for you, go for it. But one thing you must note is, the only way to confirm that you have a knowledge of something is to teach it to someone. Alright. My shift starts in the next 15 minutes. I will quickly run through the other tips I have for you today. You can only see the result if you apply. The fifth is the use of memorization tactics. Trying to cram anatomical words is a great mental strain to yourself. Instead, utilize the use of different memorization strategies such as flashcard, rewriting your notes, using mnemonics, use of QA sections and teaching what you've learned to yourself or someone. These are things you can adopt when you have your exams close by and even before then. Another is working in group. Working in group is a great way to check your weak points. Sometimes, having someone else to bounce ideas off of or someone to quiz you can help you retain information and help you identify your weakness. Having a study group can help you stay motivated to study and keep you accountable. Peer teaching has been found in studies to be very effective in knowledge retention. And lastly for today, take advantage of resources available to you. As exams draw closer, the most advisable thing to do is, get tons of MQS, QA, previous year's questions, questions you formed during studying and instead of rereading your notes, read and revised by answer hood those questions. This is one very effective way to be actively involved in learning. It eases tension, gives you confidence and help you get ready for an exam setting. These tips are sure to help you if you apply them. All right, let me get to work now. All the best in your exams. See you. Hey, thanks for sticking around. It's good to have around. Like this video if you've got some relevant info and share with your friends. If you are new here, we are so delighted having you around. Please feel free to join us across our social media handles. Links are the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos like this. See you!